Hello again, Steve Fentress for the Strassenburg Planetarium at the Rochester Museum and Science Center with things to watch for in the sky the week of May 28th to June 3rd. And we start just after sunset. There's Venus down there. You've been watching that for weeks. Time to say goodbye. It'll be zipping between us and the sun and re-emerging in the morning in a few weeks. Mercury visible maybe with binoculars. Let's put time into motion and watch them set. And we'll stop shortly after sunset when the first few stars have come out and see what there is to see. In the west, the Arch of Spring, Procyon, Pollux, Castor, Capella. Four stars that make this big archway. Pollux and Castor are in the ancient constellation Gemini, the twins, one artist's interpretation. But to the unaided eye, those stars look nearly identical and they form the top of that archway that's always in the west or west-northwest, just after sunset every year in the spring. Looking north, we've now turned to the north. Constellation Cassiopeia, the one shaped like a W, that's down pretty low, might be hard to see right after dark. Look up higher, though. Just after sunset, facing north, high overhead, there it is, our friend the Big Dipper, with the curved handle and the cup. This is also called the drinking gourd. Take the last two stars in the cup, connect them with a straight line, and keep going to a medium bright star that will always stay in the same place in the sky. Well, it actually makes a little tiny circle, but not big enough to notice. The Our North Star Polaris, end of the handle of the Little Dipper, and that's its starting place right after dark at the end of May and beginning of June. So that's what's in the north just after sunset. Now let's look east. And a little to the north of the east, one of the first stars you'll see as it's getting dark, Vega, one of the brightest stars in the sky. And it is one of the three corners of the summer triangle, a giant triangle that'll be coming up a little bit later as it gets dark. Then let's look south and crane our necks to look way up high, past the bright bluish white star Spica. And there you go, Arcturus. That will be one of the first stars you see as the sky gets dark beautiful orange color. And to confirm that it is Arcturus, look way up there. There's the Big Dipper. We're seeing it from the other side now. And the curved handle of the Big Dipper points to Arcturus. The sky gazer's slogan is, follow the arc to Arcturus. But Arcturus is so bright, I think you'll have no trouble noticing it if you can see anything up there high in the sky just as it's getting dark. And at the end of May, we have a bright moon it's in its waxing crescent phase, and here's how it will be moving over the next few nights. There's the 31st, June 1st, June 2nd, June 3rd, and let's back up to May 28th. So this is a week when we will have the moon brighter and brighter every evening as its phase expands from a crescent to a nearly full moon in a week. There's the constellation Leo the Lion, with the bright star Regulus right there to the left of the moon. So we have now checked all directions just after sunset as the first few bright things are coming out. Let's now watch the western sky again and enjoy time in motion as the sun sets. And the early evening will be the time to watch for passes of satellites like the International Space Station. We have time and ultra fast forward, so it's showing those satellites going much faster than you will see them in the real sky. In the real sky, satellites look like very smoothly, steadily moving lights without any blinking, without any red lights that you would have on airplanes. Here we are looking at the northern sky as time passes, and there's the Big Dipper making its 24-hour, or actually 23-hour and 56-minute, circle around Polaris, our North Star. Or so it appears, because we live on a planet that rotates every 24 hours. And now as the evening gets later, we turn to the northeast, and there's the summer triangle, Vega, Deneb, Altair. It's really huge. And we are after midnight now, so it's quite high in the sky. On a night with no moon, you would see the Milky Way going right through the middle of it. Going into the wee hours of the morning, looking southeast and south, 
pretty spectacular. Over there on your right in the south, the bright reddish star Antares, part of the constellation Scorpius the Scorpion, at least according to the tradition that's represented on standard star charts. And then beyond the Scorpion's tail, it's supposed to be the constellation Sagittarius, but most sky watchers look for a teapot. There's the spout of the teapot, the lid, and the handle. And then in this part of the sky, this year we have three planets, Jupiter really bright, Saturn pretty bright next to it, and Mars coming up after three o'clock in the morning in the southeast. Well, at this time of year, dawn is about to arrive. So let's take a wide view of that southeastern southern sky and watch night come to an end and a new summer day will begin. Well, we look forward to doing all of this under the planetarium dome just as soon as possible. But until then, thanks very much for staying with us online and we'll see you again soon.